Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, the Kingdom of Greece. Last episode, we took our fight to Cuba, and we have conquered uh, Cuba, and we are now ready to begin the final preparations uh, for war with the Axis. And actually, this episode is going to be a bit short. Um, as you might notice, if you look at the date, we have actually passed a significant amount of time because I've been working on this off screen. Um, getting stuff built, getting divisions distributed out where they need to be. So we actually have a force now on the Suez Canal. Um, all of the armored groups we had down here are now distributed out to locations along the front. Uh, I got troops down here in the Singapore area now. So, we're pretty much ready there. I've got a force down here because apparently there's a little piece of Vichy France here that we're going to have to get rid of so they can't invade through there. Um, we've gotten a ton of construction done. In fact, we don't have much more to build. I mean, we are maxed out on infrastructure except for here. Let me just set that up. Um, air... Uh, Airports are all built up. Let's see. I built anti-aircraft guns in pretty much every single state in our core area. So if they try to fly any planes over us, we're going to annihilate them. We've got our uh, radar stations. We've got uh, naval bases being built up. I have queued up the coastal forts. Uh, land forts, they've been built now for a while, so... A lot of things here are still proceeding, but we still have a little bit left to do. Um, the fleets, the submarines, and the um, the main uh, reserve force there have not been split up and distributed out yet. And also, I haven't put any um, aircraft in any of the airports along the border yet, so that needs to be done uh, as well. So, um, since we're not ready to go ahead and get this war started yet, and I didn't really have time to finish all that work today, um, we're going to have to save that for next time. Uh, so, yeah, it was pretty much just an update, and, uh, yeah, hopefully, you know, next time we're going to go ahead and get this war started here. Oh yeah, I've already assigned these guys to move back. I forgot to do that. I just took care of that when I loaded up right now, so they should move soon. Um, anything else we need to worry about? I don't think so. Oh, I, and we... I, I changed up the recruitment, so because of our low ma manpower situation. Um, we're building modern armor. We've gotten our first few divisions of modern armor out. So, yeah. And we've got more military factories, so I queued up modern self-propelled artillery, modern anti-air, um, some more heavy tank destroyers because um, they need those for all of our infantry divisions, all the heavy infantry divisions. And so, yeah, everything is still proceeding. One weird thing that I noticed, this is kind of goofy, is that we're showing as negative 1.9 million infantry equipment. But that's definitely wrong because we actually have lots and lots of infantry equipment. Uh, a lot of it captured. I mean, look at all these different types of infantry equipment we have captured over the over the course of the game. So, yeah, but we're good to go there. And once we go to war, we can change our conscription laws to get more more men in the manpower pool that we're going to need uh, for actual, you know, replacements for combat losses more than new divisions, so... Uh, we will see how that goes. Alright, again, apologize for the short episode here, but, um... we should hopefully, uh, get this started next time, so... I will see you next time.